and now, the British Broadcasting Company presents a documentary on the goose, nature's cleverest trickster. One of nature's most revered creatures wakes from his slumber, the goose. Bursting from his den, the goose stretches his wings. Once the goose is once again familiar with his footing, he looks upon his treasured collection, his pile of golden bells. A fallen tree obstructs his path. But it's no match for this clever creature's intelligence. This goose uses its beak to interact with the objects of the world. A natural puzzle solver, this goose quickly passes the fence. But truthfully, it never stood a chance against this goose's intelligence. It spreads its wings to assert its dominance. Seeing the basket, the goose changes its plan. It wants to prepare its feast. Checking its to-do list, the plan is set in motion. Ah, a closed gate. I wonder how this goose shall find a way into the garden. A radio piques its interest. Geese are well-known music enjoyers. I wonder what music it has on its mind. The wild groundskeeper emerges from the garden. It seems agitated that the goose stole its radio. Not wanting to give up its newfound prized possession, the goose seeks to divert the groundskeeper's attention. But it seems the groundskeeper's mind is set on recovering its radio. How will this goose solve this? The goose is inside the garden. It is now in full control of whatever will transpire there. For the groundskeeper, the rose represents a memorial to its late wife. Seeing it stolen from its place enrages the creature, causing it to come after our feathery friend. As an insult, the goose honks at the groundskeeper, mocking the tragedy that has befallen him. In reality, stealing the rose was but a plan for the goose to steal the groundkeeper's hat. It quickly runs away to hide it, exposing his bald head to the sun. It steals a carrot. Its meal is almost ready. In order to secure the garden for himself, the goose sets a diversion for the groundskeeper. It steals his keys and flees through its safe space that was created earlier. Water frightens the groundskeeper, allowing the goose to hide his keys. The goose now has the garden for himself. It sets up its goals for later. The groundskeeper sets his attention to his stolen pumpkin, naturally. This particular pumpkin recently won first prize in the local farmer's contest. Of course, the goose won't allow this and steals his keys again. The weight of the pumpkin is troubling for him, allowing the groundskeeper to catch the thief red-handed. But the goose won't let his pumpkin go that easily. It throws the keys in the lake again. Now it has all the time in the world to place the pumpkin on the blanket, finishing its meal. Seeing the rake, the goose finds a plan on what to do with it. Rake in the lake, rake in the lake, rake in the lake. Rake in the lake. 
Making sure the groundskeeper's attention is diverted on the useless pumpkin, its plan continues. Rake in the lake, rake in the lake, rake in the lake. Accomplishing this tremendous task, it honks to assert its dominance. The groundskeeper is tired of the goose, and resorts to blatant goose racism, in an attempt to drive it out of its garden. Not one to accept this discrimination, the goose will thwart this, not afraid to resort to stealth. The well-timed honk makes the groundskeeper hammer his thumb. Finishing his tasks in the garden, the goose honks at his helpless victim to assert its dominance. Knowing it no longer has plans in the garden, the goose ventures further, causing mayhem for the rest of the world. Thank you for watching the first part of the documentary on the goose, nature's cleverest trickster. Please make sure to subscribe to stay up to date for the continuation of this series. A like is also much appreciated.